expressive language. Sometimes what you mean is not exactly what you say. That's figurative language using words in different ways. Personification, alliteration, assonance, and hyperbole. Seems to sit somewhere separate from Sonia. A Caleb calls Chris because he's coming to California. It's called alliteration. That's what occurs when you got the same sound at the start of every word. But when you got a vowel sound that keeps sounding the same, that's a figure called assonance. Yeah, that's his name. It's what I'm trying to define by providing this example. But I cannot deny that assonance can be a handful. Sometimes what you mean is not exactly what you say. That's figurative language using words and different. Personification, alliteration, assonance, and hyperbole. On a monopoly, a metaphor and simile. A simile is something that you use to compare two unrelated things with an element that's shared. My mind is like an ocean, it's as smooth as jazz, but it's only a simile if it uses like the ads. A metaphor is similar, but watch out, be careful, cause you got to leave like an ads out. My mind is an ocean, my words are a river, so keep your ears open as I continue to deliver. Sometimes what you mean is not exactly what you say. That's figurative language using words in different ways. Personification, alliteration, assonance, and hyperbole. On a monopoly, a metaphor and simile. Now with the sun smiling down or the boat hug the shore, that's personification, nothing less, nothing more. But with a buzz or a ding or a hiss or a roar, that's on a monopoly that we're using for sure. Hyperbole? Man, that's like a million times harder. Take something true, then exaggerate it way farther. Now you've heard this song from beginning to the finish. Now you've got some tools to draw your literary image. Sometimes what you mean is not exactly what you say. 